wastes the world indeed. Well done. Moving on to some, mathematics is a very difficult subject. The numbers and formulas can all be confusing. But this is not true for the family in our next story. Adamu Ibrahim and his sons are mathematicians. Their knowledge of the subject has earned them both domestic and international accolades. Ajara Aliyu visited the family in Ochi State. An unusual world sits in the midst of an area known as Ngombochi, a slum in Bochi State, Northeast Nigeria. An informal learning center, popularly known for producing mathematics geniuses. This small garage is a makeshift center to teach several learners in the desperate search for education. The views of many around here is that it should go beyond this and turn into an institution of some sort where scholars could turn out. Sites of several certificates, plaques, and laurels depict something extraordinary. The man behind the decade old center, Mr. Adamu, was an Olympiad champion in the 1980s. His children exhibit traits like their father. Such as sin squared theta plus cos squared theta is one, and then we look at some few proofs to support our arguments. The youngest of six Yusuf teaches in the center, a master of excellence himself at 18, has participated in several mathematics competitions, the Olympiads, NNPC, Cowbell, and the American Mathematics Competition, where he won a gold medal in 2015. He links his success to diligence. Actually, I don't sleep at night. So right from 8 to 4, I study, and then I sleep to another time, let's say around 1. I wake up 1 p.m. and then I continue to study like that. His brother Ismail is studying abroad on scholarship and has been to five countries for mathematics competitions. For me, uh, math is like a puzzle. Uh, in mathematics, uh, everything can be proved with uh, deductive reasoning, which makes it really fun. The family is giving back to the community free of charge. Uh, I believe the only way over time, we can be able to overcome this poverty. It's for these children to have a very good education so that they get very good placement. And you will see the community will one day, I know it takes time, but somebody has to start it. And we took that challenge. We are really, really, really happy because we have about six to five students who they are what? A school abroad. Simply because of this man contribution. The center has received no external support. Perhaps the UN or any relevant organization could see this as an opportunity to improve a story that has begun to churn a generation of young eager minds.